Welcome to the Progeny Rx Medication Administration video series. My name is Hannah. I'm a nurse at VFP Pharmacy, a Progeny Rx Pharmacy partner. This video will discuss the compounded luprolide trigger. This medication will come in a vial with the volume prescribed by your doctor. It may appear different from this. This will come as a compounded product. It does require refrigeration at all times and may have a shorter shelf life. Pay attention to the expiration date, which may also be listed as a beyond use date on the actual vial. You'll alcohol wipe the top of the vial rubber stopper. Use the correct syringes for your dose. Draw back to the dose that you've been prescribed. Insert the needle through the rubber stopper. Inject the air. Tip the vial over and draw back your prescribed dose. Tap the syringe to force any bubbles to rise to the top and press on the plunger until you see a droplet form at the tip of the needle. You're now ready for your subcutaneous injection. For subcutaneous injections, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. The most common site is the abdomen using the left right or below the belly button, staying approximately one to two inches away from the belly button. You can also use the back part of the upper arm or the outer aspect of the upper thigh. Alcohol wipe the skin and the abdomen where you're going to receive the injection. Let the alcohol dry. Hold the syringe like a dart. Squeeze the skin. Needle goes straight in in a 45 to 90 degree angle. Depress the plunger. Count to a quick five, one, two, three, four, five. Remove the needle from the skin. Use a gauze or a tissue if there's any bleeding. The Sharps container comes with a permanently sealable top. Open the lid. Do not recap the needle. Just drop the syringe into a Sharps container. You can close the lid, but do not seal it until it's full. If you have any further questions regarding your medications or protocols, please call your doctor's office or the pharmacy where you received your medications.